Paul McCleary joined the USS Independence in late March on the ship's fifth day at sea. The General Dynamics design ship was being put through its paces as it navigated from Key West to Mayport, Florida. It's new, and, and there's a lot of new technology, and as we were looking at yesterday, um, what, what it does when you have a whole a full load of fuel on board, and you've got some stuff in the mission bay, we've got a few Connex boxes, uh, what it does over the course of uh, three or four days, there's a lot of data collection from an engineering uh, technical sense that has to be collected. So we've got that, that aspect of it. So we've got what's called the post-delivery test of trials test plan. Highlights of the trip included a 43-knot sprint and a series of 30-knot, 30 30-degree 30 turns that were executed flawlessly. The Independence is an aluminum-hulled trimaran with a 40-person crew and room to berth 75. Hybrid sailors, what they called it, and it's definitely true. Everybody had to go to schools to get out of their comfort zone. So for my engineers, for example... With such a small crew, the workload can be excessive. A petty officer told Paul McCleary that rank has no privilege. If my EXO goes out and does sweepers, everyone does sweepers. He's definitely my resident expert on the MTU engines, but in addition to that, he's got an extremely high level of medical proficiency. He gave me my flu shot this year, so that was first. But the crew loves the capabilities that the ship promises. As to whether the Navy will agree, the results of the fierce competition with Lockheed Martin's monohull Freedom is to be decided this summer. For Aviation Week, this is Bettina Siobhan.